Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Ty's Lore, where every day is Halloween. And for those of you who watched my Mothman video, welcome back. Tonight's topic is about an evil doll. No, not him. No, not her either. Him. Do you recognize him? Allow me to introduce you to Robert the Haunted Doll. This story begins in 1904 in Key West, Florida. Born into a wealthy family, Robert Eugene Otto, everyone just called him Gene, was the original owner of this creepy doll. When he was just a boy, one of the family's servants gave him the doll as a gift. Gene named the doll Robert after himself. At first, the relationship between Gene and Robert seemed innocent, no different than any other child with a new toy. Gene took Robert everywhere he went. But soon, things began to get weird, to say the least. Robert came to life. It all started one night when Gene's mother awoke to the sound of screaming, along with what sounded like furniture being tossed around Gene's room. When she entered his room, she found Jean quivering in fear as the doll stared blankly ahead. As time went on, the Otto family began experiencing more doll-related activity. Jean's parents would sometimes hear two voices coming from his room. One of the voices was Jean's, but the other voice was a lower, unfamiliar one. And just when he thought things couldn't get any creepier, some of the neighbors claimed to have seen Robert staring at them from Jean's bedroom window. Jean continued getting terrorized by the doll, claiming that Robert would mutilate his other toys out of jealousy. His parents finally decided to lock Robert up in the attic once and for all. Jean grew up to become a painter, and he moved back into his childhood home with his wife, Anne. He quickly became reacquainted with his doll after finding it right where his parents left it, the attic. And so, history went on to repeat itself. Jean once again became obsessed with the doll. He even gave the doll its own bedroom. This didn't last long because it made his wife feel uncomfortable. Understandably. The doll was eventually moved back into the attic. As time passed, neighbors began claiming that they could see Robert moving around the house, and visitors said that they could hear footsteps and childlike laughter coming from above. Jean inexplicably would sometimes find Robert back in the bedroom, staring out the window. So Jean would move him back into the attic, but sure enough, Robert would always make his way back to the bedroom. Gene passed away in 1974. His wife was quick to sell the house with Robert again locked away in the attic. Eventually, a new family moved in, and they had a 10-year-old girl. She discovered Robert and began playing with him just as Gene used to. However, this friendship did not last very long as Robert did what he does best, and he terrorized that poor little girl. So where is Robert today? Well, he still resides in Key West, Florida, but he now belongs to the East Martello Museum. He is on display in a glass case where he is still up to his usual antics. It's even said that his facial expressions change from time to time. If you visit him, be careful. You must ask for his permission before snapping a photo. If you don't, you will experience a series of bad luck. Some people reported personal injuries, divorce, and job loss as a result of taking Robert's photo. By the way, in case you're interested, there's a movie based on Robert. I've never seen it though because, frankly, it looks terrible. Anyway, this begs the question of why Robert is so cursed. According to one legend, the serpent that gave the doll to Jean put a hex on it to punish the family for treating her so poorly. Another legend suggests that Jean would blame Robert 
for his own wrongdoings, and this angered the doll and brought it to life. We may never know for sure, but what we do know is that this is one creepy doll. Alright guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I'll try to release another video as soon as possible. Until next time, this is Ty's Lore, signing off.